Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man. Okay. Holy shit. So, um, like I thought, Maki was not dead. I don't care how annoyed Ooh. you are, David, because you shouldn't be, because she's a badass and she shouldn't be dead yet. We got Puke Girl dead, so you should be okay with this, in my humble opinion. It's still fucking weird how they've copped it out here. But like, we'll it should get to be that obvious one. to you. Like, like it's going to depend on how they cop it out, right? So, like, at the end, we, we see what I assume to be, like, a substitution jutsu-esque thing from Naruto. And, again, it's it's going to depend on how it's portrayed. Like, if this is her power, if it, if it has something to do with how she fights, you know, like the demon she has a contract with or whatever, then I think that's fine. And, you know, as long as we establish... Cu- uh, clear rules and regulations to how that power works and how that contract works, then it's fine. Um, I think that to me, it really doesn't like you can do like fake out deaths as long as they're not like used for like I don't know like like cheaply. If they're not used cheaply, I don't I don't think it, this was. I really didn't get it. I don't have an issue with this one. She's surrounded in a pool of bodies of people who were also shot. There better be some serious OP bullshit ground rules here. I'm going to be a little bit pissed. I don't have an issue with it, personally, because I think that <laughs> it's Makima. Like, again, like, this would be, like, I don't, it's so weird to me that you have an issue with this, because, like, ha- she's been set up to be so badass. If she got taken out like that, that would be so stupid. I mean, it's motivation for Denji for me. No, like, for me, it's, you're you're on that level where you just want character deaths for character deaths' sake. Like, fucking, um, what is that fucking manga that people always make fun of uh, that has, like, Character deaths out the ass for no reason. Uh, oh, what is it called? I don't remember. You, you know what I'm talking about, though? Like, I, I used to watch... There was, like, this Honest uh, honest trailer thing for, like, one of them, and it was, like, what you, what your favorite anime talk, tells about you, and one of them was, like, if you like, this is your favorite anime, you think that character deaths immediately makes a good series. You know, it's just, like, it doesn't. <laughs> they have to mean something. That would be such a shallow, meaningless character death. They're establishing guns as, like, the most dangerous fucking thing here. In this chapter. Well, like, to me, it looks like, I'm guessing, if I'm understanding this right, everyone still died except Makima, right? Like, all of her people, like, everyone with her died. It's just Makima survived. Yeah, Is that so what I'm getting? I want, yeah. that's what it's looking like here, but goddamn, I want to know what this power is to make this death not feel like shitty cop-out. Yeah, I I, know. I, I, I trust it. There, is it good? So, we have... A glorious action scene here, like yeah. fucking... slicing the building down is nice, and then um, he he does one of those a classic um, you know teleports behind you situation. <laughs> yeah, <Nani>. um, <laughs> so that's interesting. And um, what I like too, and I gotta fucking give props to Denji, like always, is that Denji is one of those main characters that, as we've already known this, he just doesn't have a moral. He he doesn't have moral high ground. I love that. So he takes a random dude. He's like, oh, you like this dude? I'll kill him. <laughs> I love that. I'll carve his face off. <laughs> like, what a badass. Like, this manga really does know how to do things differently. And, you know, to, to back that up, when Denji gets cut in fucking half, any other manga, that would be, like, yeah. a death sentence. I don't... For this manga? No. Like, you know, because he's got a demon in him. The fucking first chapter of this manga, he was cut into, like, 50 pieces. So, oh, yeah. I love it. Sword Boy didn't give a fuck about that guy, though. He just cut them both in half. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so now they're just carrying him, like, by the hair. Like, all right, here we go. Or, well, I guess not the hair. He's got a fucking convenient carrying handle, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. He, well, that's he nice. Does. He's carrying him by the handle. <laughs> wow. That makes it all easier. It's very easy. <laughs> I, I love it. Um, oh, my God. He did. See, you're right. I'm glad you pointed that out. He did cut, cut his dude in half, didn't he? <laughs> yep. I gotta be honest. I have, like, I have a hard time telling what's happening with sometimes with the art. Like, I, I'm, I, I feel like I'm a moron. <laughs> I just realized that. That's awesome. He got the dude in half too. <laughs> it's just like, wowzers. All right, cool, cool. Um, let's see. Uh, so what do you think about? Yeah, I guess I love that. Um, the people are waiting for her, and then you know she's just like, no, she just walks out. Here I am. Uh, the luncheon is canceled. Uh, so yeah, she's she's about as badass as I wanted her to be. Um, we see a clip here where the civilians are like, okay, move around, find a different place, and then or not the civilians. One of the dudes is the guy that's trying to blend back in to being a civilian, and then she's yeah. just there. So I mean, she clearly fucked these dudes up, 
and I'm I'm curious. Yeah, I mean, it's, we're gonna have to. The, the whole point of this video is just like what happened, right? That's that's what's gonna be. That's all we're gonna be able to talk about, like what really happened here. Like, honestly, the next chapter's got to be some clarification. Definitely, because, like you, there's still some fucking chapters. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, and it makes some of them hard to talk about for sure. But like, we try our best. Um. I do like that, uh, where is it, hold on, See, yeah, I'm looking at the bottom, th the bottom panel here on the last thing, so, yeah, hmm. yeah, I can only imagine that she, some, somehow her power involves, and by her power, of course, I mean the contract with whatever demon she has, um, I gotta assume that it has something to do with illusions, um, you know, maybe like changing places with people, Anything that would involve... I imagine it'll be some sort of unique thing. Because it's not just going to be illusions. That's it. GG. You know, like, that's too boring for this author. I feel like it's going to be something really unique. Um, and kind of with oh, yeah. a Devil Man spin here. Or a Chainsaw Man spin. Devil Man, what the fuck. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's about... That, that's what I got for this chapter. Um, any any more other thoughts for throughout the chapter for you, David, here? Nothing more for the chapter. Just The next chapter is definitely going to be the clarification, like I said. And hopefully some... Some more of this, I guess we'll call him luggage, Dingy. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that he's just carrying him by the head. That's so convenient. Uh, I I want to see if luggage Dingy can fight. <laughs> like, bro, yo, I'm thinking about that now. <laughs> so, so yeah, because let me let me see where he caught him again. Does he still have his arms or no? I gotta oh, go back let's and go look. Back. I'm going back. He, all right, there's where he fucking teleports behind you. Now. Yeah, no, he does. He does. So he's got all of his chainsaws, yes. bro. Bro, this is gonna be like Deadpool. <laughs> remember, like where he's like carrying like Deadpool, and, or like like uh, like half of Deadpool. I don't remember how he was carrying, but then he like cut his own arm off or whatever. Like I love yep. the idea that he just like basically is pulling a Deadpool here and just like, because here's the question, right? Like, no, there is more to talk about. I'm glad I thought about this. So how does this work? Like, we know he's not gonna die here. Does he have to like? snake back to his original legs or will he like grow new legs like deadpool yeah there's because i think i think in the first chapter the body parts like snaked back together right? yeah because they were all in the same fucking uh dumpster now what's interesting is you could kind of take this the buggy the clown way in, in from one piece because in but with buggy the clown they actually like got like a, a good chunk of his torso and like tied it up with rope and like threw it to this like area where he couldn't get it. So then Buggy had to be like a midget for like half the series because he couldn't find his torso. <laughs> oh my god! So like with with this guy, is he just gonna be like alive? But it's I like the idea that he's just alive and it's like I gotta get to my legs. Like imagine that. Like imagine the rest of the arc just like <laughs> upper torso Denji carry me around, <laughs> throw me at that enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Oh, oh that would be fuck. Makima, that would be bro. fucking weird. Makima's gonna carry around Denji, but like that'd be such a Chainsaw Man thing, wouldn't it? Like, oh yeah, this, ma this manga keeps doing shit I don't expect. Imagine if like half of this next arc is Makima just carrying around Denji, and he might even be into that. Like, there might be some sexual attraction aspect to that. Like, yeah, I'm like her pet. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Carry me by my head handle, bitch. I like to imagine, oh. too, he probably can't exit Chainsaw Man form, because if he does, I feel like he would. That, that's my head cannon, right? Like, if he went to human form, he'd probably die. So he's got to oh, yeah, stay he, in Chainsaw Man. So, dead. like, I love, him, I, love the, I love the thought that he's, like, in Chainsaw Man, like, permanently right now, until he gets his legs back. Jesus Christ. See, that, now I want that to happen. That's what needs to happen. Fuck this. I don't want him to Deadpool grow him back. I want... I want Denji to be a fucking upper torso for the rest of this arc. Please. Jesus Christ, please do that. <laughs> the fuck? You feel me on that? Oh. Would it not be? Because, like, I'm sitting here thinking, what have I never seen before in, like, any other series? That. I have never seen that a man would be a be... half a torso for a fucking whole arc. I would die. That would be very bizarre, but I'm, I'm down for Tell it. Tell me you'd love it, though. You know you would. Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> it gives some interesting fucking dialogue. And there could the be a bunch of thing? there could be a bunch of jokes like, "Oh, guess what? You can't kick me in the balls right now because they're fifty miles that way." Oh my god, my weak point is gone. I've evolved. <laughs> I love it. 
And now he can't. Oh like, my god. So many, there's so many possibilities. Can he get horny by Makima if his balls are gone? What the or fuck? Or would his legs, 50 miles that way, get an erection? Are they like spiritually connected? You know, fuck it, I want this. See? I, I, I'm glad I've fucking convinced you. Honestly, though, I really hope that's a thing. Like, do that. Do that this series, please. All right, cool. I'm glad I fucking... I, I, I'm glad I pulled this video into something entertaining near the end. Because <laughs> both of us are tired. We've had a long-ass weekend. <laughs> and we're all just like... <laughs> I had to pull it out. I lit... I literally just woke up. Pull it out from the, yeah, and then Thurman's been working like fucking ten hour days the whole weekend. It's been it's been a fucking struggle to get things out this weekend. Oh, we'll film mother shit later. Yeah, mother. Well, anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to Upper Torso Denji for the next fifty chapters. Um, and uh, with that, with that, peace. Yeah, peace.